Pop Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harry from Bell Souls with Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. And we're back with another Tabletop Spotlight. I mean, this is a cool-looking box. Yeah, it's a pretty game. It's called Starfall. Uh, the basic premise is you're astronomers trying to uh, build up your portfolio of new discoveries, uh, and you're vying against other astronomers, basically. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. cool. It's a very so pretty game. game very looking, cool at the, looking at the sky, mm -hmm. trying to name some new... Yeah, it's a fast-paced kind of wig game. Uh, it's very fun. Yeah. Well, it's from IDW, and they have some really good yes. stuff out. Mm -hmm. so. And again, a company called Pandasaurus. Oh. It's a panda nice. and a dinosaur. I gotcha. Thank That's, you. Okay. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. Let's take a look inside Starfall. 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 This is a pretty box. It is. It's got some gloss. It's gloss, got some net. where it counts. I like the net. Yes. It's a little hard to read yeah. if you're colorblind, though. Uh, good thing we're not. That's true. Um, and for those of you who are, it says Starfall. It does say Starfall. Sorry. Um, yeah. But here's the back of the box. Ooh. Shows off what you get. What's what's it look like? Yeah, I'm curious. This, this game it's is... a pretty game. Pretty looking. I'm very yes. interested to see. I also mentioned there was a, a panda dinosaur. <laughs> That's the panda dinosaur. It's there. Here. It's right there. It's Panasaurus Games. Um, all right, you ready to open this? Yeah. Okay. You I do the honors on this one. I had some trouble earlier, so let me just. You might need to help me. All right, here we go. All right. It's stuck. These boxes are done with such box. precision okay. that they vacuum seal shut. All right. So first off, the <laughs> rules. Best part are the rules are not that long. Uh, there's one, wow. two, three pages. That's it. That's, That's it. Okay. All right. Um, I can get behind a game with a three-page rule set. So opening it up, we've got the tiles. game board. It's the uh, tiles and whatnot. We can open this plastic part up later. Okay. Uh, I'll probably actually buy this copy, so no big deal. Um, go. We've got the orange star dust and the white star dust. And then the um, silica and gel silica. that you should not eat. It's actually salt, um, so you can put it on your meal. No, don't uh, actually, please don't, don't do, do that. that. Don't do that. This is silica. It's poisonous. Don't it's do bad. that. It's bad. It's to dry stuff. And that's it. That's wow. all. Wow. Uh, so it's not, not not that much. But yeah. I want to point out too, these are actually in little plastic baggies. Yes. And we love when we get extra plastic extra baggies. Extra pla uh, plastic baggies. And look at look how organized this is. Wow. Once you open up, because you can see the punch out like uh, outline yeah. in there. Once you open it, they, they fit right, right there. there. It's nice. Cool. You want to look at... Uh, yeah, let's go in here. Let's yeah, open let's this, this one. Up. All right. All right. Cool. All right. We don't need to look at these, right? No, they're just, they're just little pieces. Okay, yeah. if you want, I'll present it to the side. Merry Christmas. Thanks, man. Uh, all right, so here's the basic game board. This is gonna go in the center. Um, Astronomizing the rules first off, but like this is yeah. basically what it's it is. numbered. Yes, this well, number. I don't there know what are lines. For. Uh, yeah, our lines. And this is a telescope. Um, these are going to be what's going around that. It's an observatory. That. Um, you're right. Uh, um, these are going to go around that. Uh, these are like the little different systems and stuff like that. There's a flying baseball. I'm pretty sure that's a uh, No, it's a baseball. Yeah. You're right. In space. They're, they're playing. See, this baseball is. They tricked you. This is actually a baseball stadium. Oh, and then and see, this these is like flying baseball. Babe Ruth. Ba exactly. Yeah, home run. It has nothing to do with comets or space. It's the only space. baseball player I know. This is all about baseball. Uh, I don't watch baseball. <laughs> uh, and then you have these are the game. Uh, Cheat sheets or the uh, okay. player cards, um, but yeah, that's. I'm betting that these might be hidden too, like face down. Oh, first. I'm sure they are. Oh, not because these. But no, yeah, yeah, I'm sure they are. Because there's some blanks. There yeah, are some blanks. There are some blanks. So also, you, I mean, like there's different patterns in each one. True. So I mean, yeah. Maybe you pick which one you look at. I'm guessing here. How about we read the rules? Let's do it. It's All right, three pages. four, three pages. You're right. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. It's a very simple game. Yeah, the yeah. rules for Starfall again. We showed you four pages. Yes, three. Well, I mean, if you don't count the front, three. yeah. Uh, Which is really just where the cards yeah. are. So we set up is easy. Uh, yeah, yeah. put this this board over here if you want to show it off. Here's the board. After punching it out, it's going to go in the center of the board. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> and describe it. This is the telescope. You were all discovering. Uh, it wasn't really a baseball stadium. I was joking. Uh, too bad. Yeah. Uh, but that. So this this is the uh, track that. It, so every time you place a new area of the sky you're gonna do at the highest possible point which is right here is nine and then you, you can move it down we'll go over the turns it's kind of like it's moving across the sky across the sky right, right here, right then here, here. And then it goes across yeah um, really so cool. yeah so it's it's very cool mechanic um, the game is super easy yes <clears throat> again you start with the stardust pieces which you use to then spend on sky pieces for points later on right um, the uh, the the sky tiles cost the amount of the, the number related here. Right. So if I bought the sky tile that was here, it would cost me six star uh, stardust pieces. Right, and the orange ones are five and the white ones are one. Right. Yes. So it's pretty straightforward yes. as far as that goes. Uh, a game turn is super easy. Yeah, you there's only, three choices. Yeah, players have to do one of the following options. 
uh, they can add a sky tile, and you uh, add the sky tile at the highest point that's not occupied. Um, you can then, if there's, but there can only ever be three sky tiles on the board, right. which is important. Uh, then you move a sky, the other option is to move a sky tile, which again, according to this diagram, you can see right here, uh, if I wanted to move this, you just move them down to the next available spot. Right. So if this spot is taken, you jump over and you go to the next available spot. Right, okay. The last thing you can do, uh, it, or you can uh, do, is discover a sky tile. And that basically is you purchase that sky tile. Right, you, you, you spend it. The cool thing is too, you don't have to spend it using the uh, Stardust that you had at the start. Correct. You can spend it using available ones that you've already bought before. So let's say I bought this for yes. like three. Well, that's, that's giving myself money because it's now worth four more than three. Um, yeah, because there's yeah. seven stars on there. Yeah, seven stars on there. So you got to so deal with this as a seven. So if you have something at the seven spot, you can spend this to get rid of it. Like, yeah, do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the way the game works, though, is it's at the end of the game, you're, you tally up your points. Right. It's a so really look at that. interesting the scoring system. Here. Back of the thing yeah. right here. Yeah. Let me zoom in. Actually, I want to zoom in on this because this is probably the meat and potatoes of the game. So <clears throat> at the end of the game, mm -hmm. if you have the most stars okay. total, right. not star pieces, but actual stars. stars on the, 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 the tiles. The tiles here, right. oh, which you can't see, those tiles. tiles. Yeah. Uh, you get 10 points. In a three to four player game, if you have the fewest stars, you lose five points. Right. So there's no, no penalty in a two player game. Uh, so that's important. Planets are worth five points a piece. Right, so just start off with that. Let me show them a planet real quick. Planet. That's a planet, cool. it's worth five points. Moons are worth f are, uh, three points a piece. Right. But must uh, have a planet to match as well. Right, so, so this one's moons. good because it has a planet already on it. Yeah, that one's good. But like this one, you have to find another planet to match it, otherwise you don't get the point yeah. for it. Yeah. And it's all about matching the sets. Right. So if you have three moons but only have two planets, you can only score two of those moons. Right. No Death Stars. Dang. Uh, the black holes are really kind of a gamble. This is a black hole example. This is actually a really interesting piece. Right. Because the, the planet is worth five, but if you only have one black hole, it's worth negative five points. Right. But if you have matching pairs of black holes, they're worth 15, 15 points. points. Yes. Uh, three or more black holes is still only worth 15 points. Right. So if you go above two black holes, you're just buying them to buy but them. But why would you go above because two? Because you holes. can stop other people from grabbing black uh, holes. And then they get minus and five points. And then they get minus five points. Yes. Bingo. Comets. Uh, which which are... were baseballs. Ooh, the flying baseballs right here. Yep. The comets uh, increase in worth for each one that you have, and they have this little chart. So yes. if you have one comet, uh, each comet's worth three. Right. If you have two comets, each comet is worth four, oh. and it goes up from there. So nice. comets can really stack up pretty quickly. Yeah, for sure. Uh, nebulae, 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 nebulas, whatever. I mean, is it? Nebulus is one. Yeah, nebulus. And nebulae. Nebulae. As in like how they spell it. Yeah, I know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, there were two points apiece, uh, and you get a bonus uh, for each unique color that you have based on the chart. Right. So again, this is this is another one that that stacks up kind of weird. Right. You you get the base two points just for having the nebula. Right. But if you have, say, I have so three. I mean, like let's look, look at these four right here. There's a blue yeah. and green one, a yellow one, and a red one. Yeah. You get if you all have four all of these. four of those, you get the bonus for colors collected four. So you sixteen get 16 points. Sixteen bonus points. Now that's not. 16 points for each nebula, it's oh. just a bonus. It's not like the comets. The right. comets are different. That's right. just each comet. It's just, this is just a, a, a big bonus. Oh. So if you collect the entire set. So it's set, worth 2, 4, 6, 8, plus 16 then. Plus 16. Oh, exactly, wow, that's very cool. Which is 24 points. Yes. Thank but you if that. you get 5, mm -hmm. that's actually worth 35 points. Ooh. So it's cool. This powerful. is a neat way yeah. to do it. And uh, the, there's, you do get points for leftover stardust if you have any. Right. Uh, that is. Uh, basically half so if you have six stardust it's worth three points at the three end points. of the game okay so that's a neat way to do it cool yeah pretty cool game very it's simple. uh Not very hard. simple it, it reminds me of this is gonna be weird but it reminds me a little bit of sushi go which is a card oh, drafting yeah. game mm -hmm. because of the, the way the stuff scores right so yeah no, i agree uh, but this game is cool it's got a little bit of strategy element to it because you mm -hmm. gotta kind of yeah guess you know well i don't want to pay nine points for that tile but i need to buy it before it gets too low because yeah. somebody else might buy it totally yeah, but you have to also manage your Stardust pot. It's, it's actually it's cool. pretty good. It's very cool. It's actually pretty good. Yeah. Well, let's hop out for a really quick recap. Well, that was Starfall, cool new game. Yes. Uh, from IDW and what was it? Pandasaurus? Pandasaurus games. Very cool. Panda and a dinosaur. Panda, dinosaur. 
I like it. Uh, so the Starfall, uh, let's crunch some numbers real yes. quick. What was the price point on this one? Twenty nine ninety nine. Pretty good deal. Pretty good. Uh, and how many players total? Uh, I think it was two to four. Two to four. Yeah, two to yes, four. Two to four. I think it was thirteen and up. Uh, thirteen and up in around thirty minutes. So it's actually not that long of a game. No. A uh, very simple game too. Not hard to learn. Three page rule book. So pretty yeah, cool. it's pretty great. Maybe great for a family game night. Oh yeah, so totally. Go check it out. It's in stores right, right now. Right now. Pick it up right now. Sweet. Well, I'm Adam here from Bell Hustle. I'm Evan from Dragons Air Comics and Fancy. And this has been another Tabletop Spotlight. Thanks for watching. Tabletop Spotlight brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching.